<laughs> it's around this time of year, hundreds of ducklings are purchased from local feed stores. Bird rescuer Jimmy Longbottom says the responsibility becomes too much for owners and the birds are released. They become sitting ducks. They don't have the natural instincts to be able to make it out there like a wild duck. And most importantly, they cannot fly. And if a duck can't fly, can't migrate, can't find food, can't get away from predators. People typically buy ducklings around Easter, and then four weeks later, they dump them when they're adults. Longbottom says the owners don't realize that they can be loud, messy, or need ample space. Nearly all the ducks behind me were once domesticated. A domestic duck is going to be about three times the size of your wild mallard. And around here, we're almost always just going to see mallards. So if you see a big duck, feel free to call the Longbottom Bird Ranch and I'll take a look and I'll see if that duck needs rescuing. Longbottom's motto is to not chuck your duck. He says freezing temperatures can be deadly. People might offer bird seeds to an abandoned bird, but it's not enough to keep it alive. People get them like they're like little pet gerbils or something cute, but they're a hard animal to take care of, so eventually people end up dumping them in local parks and ponds around Cincinnati. He says he has about 16 different breeds at Longbottom Bird Ranch. Some have come in because they were popular on TikTok or convenient at the time. They'll see videos of people cuddling with a duck and thinking that's what it's like to have a duck, but it's not. None of these ducks want to cuddle with me. They, they just want to eat worms and hang out. In Green Township, Paige Barnes, <laughs> Local 12 News. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.